Michael, 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 Michael Myers, Mike Myers, Mike Myers. You, you got yeah, the, more like Mike Myers. Um, I mean, you got the you got the hairy chest for uh for Mike Myers. Well, Austin Powers, but like I don't the know. Austin Powers chest. I mean, yeah. do, you, do you think Mike Myers is that hairy in real life? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> Those fucking Canadians. I mean, like they should be hairy. I mean, they're. Yeah, I gotta fix my fucking headphones. You know, they they gotta be. You know, they're. It's cold up there, a lot. So, I mean, you think they would have inf- invested a little bit of um, body hair? I mean, I'm sure there's some hairy Canadians. Oh, there's bound to be. I don't know. I mean, to me, Canadians now. I feel bad for. If, I I feel bad for Canadians. Did you see the new? Um, <laughs> assisted suicide program that they're doing for uh, Canadians? <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, they're like, oh, like if you are depressed, you want to kill yourself, just just come up to us. I mean, people are probably gonna be like, that's misinformation. You're you're getting it wrong. And I'm like, look, I just I saw it and I have to make fun of it. So therefore, it's it's real in my book. <laughs> so, I- what was that? All I see is headlines. Oh, absolutely. Um. Yeah, didn't I know Canada? They just gave up all their guns, so they're they're all kind of screwed over there. I have, I have a lot of Canadian followers too, so I feel really bad for all of them. Yeah. That, yeah. Have you ever seen the show? Uh, partially related. Have you ever seen the show The Handmaid's Tale? No. Okay. Don't waste your time. <laughs> it's it's basically it's it's communist propaganda. Oh really? Because. Uh, America is like this is I think it's post nuclear holocaust not nuclear holocaust but post like, like nuclear fallout oh nice but they paint uh it's like this fascist regime that takes over America and then can't they paint Canada to be this socialist safe haven where they get like free money and health care and things like that Nice. And once I saw that, I immediately tuned out. I was like, "Okay, I'm not one." I'm that is like that's anymore. like that's like the biggest like propaganda bullshit right there. Like, yeah. Canada is what they call a fascist regime. No offense to my fellow Canadians out there. I like you guys. I just don't like your fucking leaders at all. No, dude. Speaking of speaking of liberals, I've been on. So I recently got back on Twitter. Uh, I don't know. I just wanted to get back on Twitter and just bu- bully yeah. and just fuck with people, bully people, and whatnot. And I was, hey, why not? It's a lot of fun. You you should get on. Yeah. You should get on Twitter. If like if you want to shit post without like the yeah. co- without without the consequences of your in laws, you know, like questioning you and your <laughs> and your shit, I would definitely get on Twitter so you can remain I- discreet about it. You know. Yeah, but- I've been heavily considering it since Elon Musk <laughs> bought it. Yeah, I actually decided to go with Twitter blue, and I got I got the blue check mark. So I'm like, oh, I'm 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 legit. I I am based. now I am now legit, super based. I, I wish it was a red check mark because bloods, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah so <laughs> so anyway, Classic. anyway, I uh been I've been on Twitter, and I've been getting a lot of flack recently because of uh uh. Do you know who Hassan Piker is? No, I think I talked about him before. He's like he's like a Twitch streamer, super like super liberal, super liberal to the point where he's like a like a ridiculous socialist communist. Where he uh, he'll <laughs> he'll he'll sport the tax the rich, you know, like hashtag on like a t shirt. But he literally yeah. just he literally just bought a two point seven million dollar house in Beverly Hills, and I'm like, yeah. oh, tax the rich, eh? And uh, so. He he posted a video of him like talking about like his uh his rise how he went from you know uh, he he's he because he's worked for Young Turks and then uh thank you and uh, now yeah he's been doing the whole Twitch thing he's saying like yeah I just want to grow my Twitch count uh, uh, Twitch count you know just build my audience build my fan base try to you know do what I can to rise and grow and then I just replied to his tweet millionaire sh- socialist. And then, all, yeah. and all of his fucking followers are like, had that they they've been like just fucking attacking me with tweets saying like, like they're like, uh, you know, socialism isn't isn't a poverty cult. And then I'm like, then why? I'm like, why the fuck do they like, like I'm like, why the fuck do they always talk about like, oh, if you make more than like fifty thousand dollars a year, you'd be paying more taxes, more taxes and shit. You know, I'm like, no, that's yeah. And then and then and people are like, oh, and, and then literally I would have people trying to offend me by saying. 
you you bought Twitter blue, and I'm like, yeah, because I can afford it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had another dude uh, co- uh, replied replied my tweet back, and he said, "Imagine being a a, uh, a poor capitalist. That's really sad." And I said, "I work hard for my money, and I'm not poor, so like, so I'm I'm, ha- yeah. I'm happy. I'm a pr- I'm a proud capitalist." But I do think we Very should. Much. I do think we should. Like the only socialist socialistic thing I I think we can do in America, uh, thirty two hour work weeks, twenty five to twenty six dollars an hour, four days a week, three day weekends. I think that'd be beautiful right there. Uh, that's great in theory. It is great in theory. It's probably uh, I don't. That's not really practical. Like some jobs, you need to work six days a week. Well, I mean, like, you just were... to run effectively. Like, if it's a perfect, if, in a perfect world where they're every place is well staffed, well funded, and all that stuff, then yeah, that could work. Well, I mean, like, but... I mean, you're a partial business business owner, so I mean, like, I'm sure you definitely know like the the pros and the cons to, uh, you know, that 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 kind of work schedule week and other shit. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah. So we were not supposed to be alone with this uh, podcast, everybody. We we're gonna have. The great Mike Buschetti on the podcast, oh, yes. but he like, yeah, it was weird because, well, I don't want to get into it because I made a, I made a video about this the other day, <clears throat> and issued my account, and I told Busch- Buschetti that I um, yeah, I uh, that that happened with my account, I got hacked, and you know I'll let him know if I get it back, and he and uh, and he said, oh yeah, just uh, just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do his impression. Sorry, Mike. I love you, buddy. Well, you know I love you. I'm talking about the other Mike. Oh yeah, so, obviously. <laughs> obviously. So, and then I I texted him uh, on Friday. Uh, not wait, was it Friday? Yeah, it was no Friday. Yeah, Friday night. And I, after I got my account back, and I said, like, "Hey, man, you know everything's good." So we're still on. He never he never replied. So then I waited a day, messaged him back, and he didn't get back. So I'm like, ah, whatever. You know, I'm sure he's probably got some shit to do. So we'll we'll get him on. We'll get him on. Hope so. Need yeah. to ask him about Artie. That's yeah, I would love to, and I want to ask him. You know what? What's what's his opinion on Howard? Because he was a he was a regular on Howard Stern years ago. And yeah, like I just want to. I mean, like help hanging with her. There was, I think, there was some bit I saw clips of where he was like reading porn lines. Oh, Bushetti. In the studio, <laughs> like they had him reading porn line, like chick porn lines in oh, the studio. God, that's so fucking funny. Yeah, he's yeah, he's a he's a funny guy. I think one of the best. Uh, episodes of a podcast was Artie Lang's Halfway House when he when when he had, they had Gilbert Gottfried on and Gilbert yeah. and Art and Artie were just ripping him to shreds. <laughs> it was yeah, it, Art, Artie was like Gilbert, wait, look at him, Mike. What do you what do you think of him? Yeah, and Hathaway called you. She said meet me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's classic, man. So what's going on with you, dude? You, you've been uh you, you've been grinding lately. Yeah, yeah new job. Oh yeah. Um. So you got that. So you. Okay. How many places have you been to since you've been doing the whole nursing stuff? Just two. Oh, just the two? assisted oh, living. Oh. I, you didn't have to be a CNA to work at an assisted living facility. That was a place in Venice that I worked. I left that job to go to the job I'm currently at. How's it going? Uh, pretty good. Actual CNAs and actual nursing homes—they do a lot, a lot of work. Oh yeah. Like, I get paid. I get paid for seven and a half hours a day because they automatically take a break, a thirty minute break yeah. out of your shit. So, yeah. but well, you know, I uh, well, I can never take a break. I never have the time to take a break. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, a lot of companies do that. I mean, I I work from nine thirty to six, and I take and I, and I um I, I don't clock out for my breaks at all. They they just take it out whenever we uh, yeah. uh clock out for the day. Uh, have like a thirty minute lunch and then two fifteen minute breaks, which isn't too bad. Uh, yeah, I've been doing the whole. Yeah, I've been selling selling the uh, male urinary incontinence stuff. I think I told you about. Have to. I, I, I have a couple of the residents at the nursing home use those. Oh, the they're uh, not that bad, but they they definitely use the. Are they are they the ones in the shape of a daisy flower? I don't think so. Uh yeah, you should. Uh, hell, I mean, get you, you hell you. Well, I well, we well, we can talk about it after after the episode. God, I don't want to yeah, get yeah. all like. Personal. Business venture. I, I, I don't want to talk. I don't want. I don't want to talk about where our businesses are are exactly because, yeah, I don't want people finding out yeah. who who we really are, Mike. You know that's that, that's not good. 
Especially, especially with these fucking people that, that that are telling me to go kill myself because I don't like millionaire oh socialists and stuff. And I'm like, and I'm like, dude. I mean, like, like millionaire and socialist don't mi- mix together. They're supposed yeah. to. They're, they're supposed to hate uh, millionaires. And technically, if you think about it, like, we yeah. should be socialists, but socialism doesn't work, unfortunately. No. it just doesn't work. Two things. One, if every millionaire that claims to be a socialist, they think that I feel like they think that they're going to be like Vladimir Lenin or like the, one of the guys. If there's an uprising, they're going to insert themselves in that position. Oh, they have a big to, enough following. Oh, we are going to insert ourselves into a certain certain position, though. Yeah, we got to make sure. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Ah, they, they they can go fuck themselves. And every time, yeah, every time uh, a communist or democratic socialist, quote unquote, tries to say that, uh, oh, well, that's not real communism, that's not real socialism. Whenever you bring up the fact that it's failed every place that it's been implemented, I mean, starting with Russia, Cuba, fucking Venezuela, dude. I, I, uh, at one of the jobs I had down here, I had a, I had a girl that was from uh, Venezuela. She was actually the warehouse manager there, and, uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> I mean, she was cool at first, but then I noticed she might have had. Oh, that was the one that was cunt to you. Everyone, everyone's a cunt to me, Mike. <laughs> well, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying, yeah, 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 you can see, yeah, she was, but she was a cunt. But I mean, there's, I've had many of cunts being very cunt to me, and you've uh, had many of cunts. You're a handsome man. Yeah, what, <laughs> I bet what? you've had many of cunts. Oh, I've, I. Six. I've dabbled. <laughs> uh, five cunts, actually. I- I'm I'm not afraid to admit how many cunts I've I- I've I've actually been inside of. Only five. I'm at nine. Nine. Oh, so nine cunts. Less, less double digits. Yeah. Really? Nine cunts. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Dude, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, I don't. I'm not. I'm not a. I, I don't give a fuck. I mean, a cunt, well, a, a few cunt. of my friends. A few of my friends have like thirty and fifty. So well, it's, it's well, kinda... well, I don't know. They're, they're they're whores and they're going to hell and because they don't believe, they don't believe in Jesus. <laughs> they aren't believers of Christ. They are not believers of Christ. Um. <laughs> anyway. Um. Okay. So this girl. So yeah, being from Venezuela, very very communistic. I think she wanted to run things a little communistic at the warehouse that we worked at. And because uh, she would always, yeah, I mean, she wasn't like ruling us over with an iron fist. Just me. And I think it's because I am like, I think I actually like question her like methods. Because one time, because yeah. one time I, one time I was uh, working with a forklift. I was trying to uh, get some shit down. And she got really upset because I was using the forklift. And then I'm like, bitch, I'm certified. Like, I've been using forklifts for... <laughs> I, and I wanted to say, dude, I've probably been using forklifts longer than you've been in America, honey. So... <laughs> <laughs> and even the owner of the warehouse was just like, uh, he's doing it just fine, and he's got the proof of his uh, of his um, certification, so... I am forklift certified, ma'am. <laughs> That's all you need Relax. to know. I am forklift certified. <laughs> yeah, so how was Ocala? You just, uh... Um, shit. Yeah, boring as always. Of course, I was just there uh, a couple of times. Yeah, during Christmas, and then I was just there just recently. Wait, why the fuck was I there last time? We 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 were literally just there like last week. What the, oh boy, what the fuck happened? What what do we do? Hey babe, hey what? Why were we in Ocala last week? Oh, I had a wedding to go to. That's right. See, my oh. memory's going. My memory's going to shit. I find it very funny that I'll like remember like jokes or things I've said before that are like really fucked up, but I can't even remember like special moments in my life anymore. When I called that guy a leprosy, the guy was leprosy <laughs> freak back in twenty fourteen. <laughs> twenty fourteen BC. There's no like who has leprosy these days. Yeah. It's a- I don't know. There's one resident at the nursing home that has like leprosy. I, I call it leprosy. I don't know what the correct term for it, but he's got like fucking bumps all over his skin. Oh, yeah. Did that must suck? Like you know, I talk with a lot of el- elderly uh, people as well too. And it just seems very sad. Get especially when I mean, like, there's a lot of old people that are that that do that are doing just fine. You know. 
that are, you know, they're old, but they're, yeah, like, they're, they're still in pretty good health. You know, they got a few issues, but, like, the ones that, like, can't stop shitting their pants or have, yeah. or have like, leprosy or, like, a retracted penis from, like, a missing prostate or something like that, that must be <laughs> fucking awful, man. Like, I would literally be like, I'm going to Canada. I'm going to, I'm going to let them kill myself, okay? I need some assisted suicide. I do. I mean, honest, honest to God, man, like, my mom even said, like, if she she's like, honey, would you be mad at me if I'm if, like when I'm like when I'm like in my 80s or 90s and I'm like terminal and if I killed myself? And I said, how would you kill yourself exactly? And she said, oh, I don't know, probably like pills. And then I'm like, I'm, why am I talking about my mom committing suicide right now? This is like, like <laughs> this, this is way too personal. This is this is fucking. I mean, I love comedy, but Jesus Christ, you know, like I'm the There's, one that she was talking about killing myself. Not, I don't want to talk about my mom killing herself, you know. There's very narrow paths you can take with that story yeah, exactly. to make it <laughs> sort of funny. So. Oh, you could totally do that. You easily make it to the where it's just like, oh, like, mom, why are you trying to kill yourself like that? Oh hey, God. Yeah. Okay. I was just trying. I was trying to check and see if your volume was still going. We're good. Yeah. I'm very, a very keen in particular. Especially when it comes to my quality of uh, of podcasting, I've had a few issues in the past, especially with our podcast before too. So I want to make sure everything is tip top magoo. So I just totally stole that from Joey Diaz right there. <laughs> but tip top magoo, tip top magoo. Yeah, he 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 just uh, he's um, shortening his shows to once a week now, and I'm very upset. Oh boy. But then again, you got to you got to you got to remember he is like sixty, and with like a wife and a and a really young kid as well too, Joey. Yeah, but I do love that he's been doing stand up again. Yeah, they all t- didn't. Everyone in that crew like take a break like during COVID. Well, because oh, I mean oh, they yeah. got bad people. They, they kind of forced the him, only so. one. Who, the only one who didn't take a take a break was Burt Kreischer. Yeah, he was doing like yeah. he was doing like drive in gigs where people were showing up in cars and like turning into like a different like radio station so people can hear him and stuff. He's he's actually I think he's coming to Tampa. Oh, yeah, I think I've seen that advertised. Yeah, we should. Uh, when we went to SmackDown last month. Uh, <laughs> oh, how was that SmackDown? Yeah, um, it's funny because yeah, I saw your entire story, which is like fifteen minutes of just fucking yeah, just <laughs> mom, muscular guys in underpants. But like, I didn't basically. Yeah, I didn't recognize anyone until like John Cena came out, and then I'm like, oh, fucking John Cena over here, fucking. old man John Cena with his his monk haircut. Because he's, he's he's going very bald. Yeah. I, I how how old is John Cena now? Like, like forty, early forties. Really? Yeah. Oh shit! I thought he'd be like in his fifties by now. Is, no. Is he really that young? He's really. I thought he'd be a lot like way older than us. Yeah. Hmm. I just realized something, Mike. We've been doing this podcast together for a year now. That is true. That is very true. And I haven't seen you physically in like twelve years. <laughs> That's because I don't exist. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Wait, so when I I have enough energy to I, like project myself into people's minds, though, so they think you, that. When you mean project, you mean like come like Randy Marsh with the that too? With yeah, the, it was ectoplasm. Ectoplasm. <laughs> oh! this, uh, ecto- oh, there was a ghost. There's a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> ectoplasm. Yeah, and uh, you yeah. guys didn't see the big spooky ghost. Big spooky ghost. Yeah. And and it's been, it's been marking a year since I've been pursuing the the stand up as well too yeah a little just a little over a year now funny enough actually I had another dude fucking comment uh he replied to my he probably my tweet and he said imagine having a failed comedy career and I'm like bitch I'm new <laughs> like I, like I, my, yeah, my, my, like I can't, I can't determine this is failed or a success I've, I think yeah, all together cause... all together in like my stand up I've done like professionally money wise I think yeah. I made like sixty bucks all together so yeah. I'm more successful than. That kid who said I'm a failed comedian. Fuck you, kid. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Honestly. Well, you know, with everything, you know, that, that's how things work, Scott, yeah. is as soon as you get into something, you become a star. That's, yeah, uh, oh, absolutely. That's, how it is. That's, that's, that's very true. Yeah, everyone's just, yeah, I mean, like, actually, I'll, I'll tell you what, I did see this video. Someone, sh- someone shared it in the Tampa Bay Comedy page, and they're saying, like, I don't know, do you think this is true or not? And I don't know, because this guy said, like, there's no such thing as having, like, a natural comedy career again where it's kind of like you get scattered out by like an A&R scout not A&R scout but like a scout that's like you know <clears throat> searching for new talent it, and, and he's kind of right because I mean think about it I talked about this in one of my podcasts uh, with, with one of my buddies uh, I said look because a lot of comedians will 
try to, I guess, fake themselves to be a little more clean because yeah. because they'll talk about, oh, you know, if you work clean, you can get on network television. And I'm like, that's that's over. Like, like yeah. when when <laughs> when is a like, on network TV. I think the last time like stand up has ever been on network television was I think maybe fucking uh, Ari Shafir show. This is not happening. Yeah, I well, you, they have they have comedians like you know Chelsea Handler yeah. and people like that. Yeah, but who who comedians. who wants to listen to Chelsea Handler? Good question. And, and Amy Schumer and Trevor Noah and all like those considered like woke. Comics. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I saw Trevor Noah like ten years ago. He was actually on tour with with Gabriel Iglesias, and he was funny as fuck. He was actually really, oh, he was actually really funny. And then, yeah, and as soon as I saw him, remember when he got on a Daily Show years ago, and I'm like, oh yeah, that there there goes his career. There, yeah, there goes his fucking career. And, it's all done. Yeah, but yeah, so John was, Stewart had that because some guy hosted the Daily Show before John Stewart. Oh uh, yeah, you're right. Oh, who was it? I remember, I forget who it was. Uh, was it um? Was it Colin Farrell or was that another show that he did? No, not Colin. Or not Farrell. Colin Farrell. Fucking um, the comedian Colin. Colin Mockery? No, no, that, that that's who's lying. Um, yeah, what's his name? He hung. He hangs out with like that. Uh, the the comics used to be on Opie and Anthony, Jim Norton, and all uh, them. Oh, Adam Carolla. Colin Quinn. Oh, Colin Quinn. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I because I know Opie and Anthony. I mean, that's like an old fucking show. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think like. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. So. Um. Yeah. Pretty much just just one like a little rant. I was just saying like, dude. Like network television, net Netflix specials. Who gives a fuck about that? Yeah. Shit? I mean, like, like so many comedians are, are posting specials on YouTube for, like for free. I mean, look at Ari Shafir's Jew. Yeah. Like that. That's like one of the biggest ones that was that was made this year, and it was it was fucking brilliant. So yeah, I mean, I I don't think you really necessarily need to be clean. I mean, yeah, I guess you could say like having like a fucking like a like a. Well, I, this guy was also saying like there's TikTokers who aren't stand ups per se, but they have but they are comedians on the app TikTok. Yeah, and then they'll like build a big following, and then do stand up for their fans. And I'm like, yeah, because it's their fans. Their fans, uh, it, yeah, it's yeah. Their yeah fans, they built their fans a fan are loyal. Yeah. Like, 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 like they could they could say a joke that we might think is not funny at all, but their fans would think it's fucking brilliant. You know? Yeah. And I'm like, so, I guess you could say, yeah. I mean, it's, I wouldn't say it's necessary, but I mean, it's also kind of like you know, trying to put trying to put a, trying to put a good word in for that, like, not necessary, but helpful. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, off off that off of that topic, that was a it's a brain fart right there. It says I already talked about that the other I talked about that the other week. Um Let's go back to bashing socialism. I, let's, I rather let's, let's go back that. to bashing socialism. So get so go ahead. Let's you start. I've, I've get a started. fucking job. <laughs> let's start out first and foremost, get a fucking job. Yeah, and I um you know, I'm very on Twitter, I'm very, you know, I try not to get, like, I'll, I'll, I'll fuck with people on Twitter, but it won't be like I'm, I'm not gonna be the kind of guy that's trying to make myself look intelligent because I don't need to, yeah. And I'm already an idiot already, so I'm, <laughs> I, so I'm just kind of like, okay, like, someone will, someone will tell me to go fuck myself, and I'll say, shh, just s h h with a with like a with this that that kind yeah. of emoji. I'm just like, I don't know, it's just. I don't know. I, I feel like it's just kind of like a a very provocatory ish way just to say go fuck yourself or yeah or like or like Rob Reiner. You know Rob Reiner, the fucking director who directed movies. Yeah, the anti smoking guy. Anti smoking guy yeah. from South Park. Yeah, you know? um, because he'll talk about like we need to like take all the Republicans accountable who supported January 6th because we don't want this thing happening again. And I'd be like, uh, sh- I'd be like, shut up, Rob. <laughs> you know, I'm very, I'm very quick. I, I, I'm, I'm not like, you know, I don't give a fuck about like, you know, like I said, like proving a point. I just want to, I just want you yeah. to shut the fuck up. And, and then if you want, if you have something to say, go ahead. But I mean, <laughs> that's it. For yeah. Me, you know, telling someone to go fuck themselves or shut the fuck up really only affects them. If, like they already have to be. I feel like it only works on people who are like close to you or something. 
Yeah, it does. I mean, like, if you're, you know, having an argument with somebody that you love, yeah, or if you're really good friends with, and, yeah. you know, and they don't like your opinion, they tell, they tell you to shut the fuck up or go fuck yourselves, that would hurt a little bit. You know, I've had many friends tell me to shut the fuck up and go fuck myself. <laughs> go fuck yourself, Scott. I was going to say, I'm like, please tell me he's going to say go fuck yourself, Scott. <laughs> 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 hey, did, did you see my um, my really funny snaps over Christmas time? I think so. With the menorah. I... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, I. I... Yeah. <laughs> so my um, obviously. Brother, my brother's a practicing Jew, uh, and so it, so is his partner. And my brother, my brother was gone. I think he was working, and it was like the, the fifth, fifth or sixth day of Hanukkah. I'm there with my dad and my brother, my brother's partner. Yeah, he go, he he literally just comes out, yarmulke on, a sash and everything. Oh, starts lighting the menorah, singing to himself, and I, I look at my dad, and we're just like, oh. I thought we were Catholic. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what's going on here now? What's, what's going on here? I'm just kidding. Nah, a lot of balls on this fucking Jew. <laughs> so, so I, um, so, I mean, I, I was like, whatever, do your thing. It's okay. So then he leaves for a little bit. Then I'm like, phone. <laughs> I just blew the candles out. <laughs> And so then I'm like, wait, hold on, I gotta light the candles rack really quick. I'm like, Dad, lighter, lighter, lighter. And Dad's like, what, what, what? And I'm like, lighter, give me the fucking lighter. So I go to light it again, and then my brother's and my brother's uh, partner comes back, and he's just like, oh, you blew out the menorah. And I'm like, I apologize. I'm just trying to be funny. And, <laughs> and he did not laugh at all. But it's funny, like, uh, like a day later, <laughs> after Christmas, my uh, uh, me, and my brother, and his partner were, were all hanging out, like just the three of us. And like my, my me and my brother are like pretty stone at that at this point. And then yeah. uh, and I was like Tony, oh, oh I didn't mean to say his name. Blah 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 blah. You didn't hear that, brother? Did you? Uh, how about Tommy? Tommy, there we go. Tommy, did you see my my Snapchat? I made I made the other day. He he's like, which one? I said, oh, you have it. So I showed him the the video, and my brother like started <laughs> busting out laughing. He thought that was one of the funniest things he's ever seen. He's just like, you dick. <laughs> Like, come on. Like, I'm not anti-Semitic. I'm just pro-comedy. It was funny. I mean, dude, like, imagine, like, you're at, like, a fucking, like, like, imagine, like, you're el- your elderly Jewish grandparents' house, and they just let the menorah, and you just blow it out because you think it's, like, a birthday or something like that. <laughs> like, it's my birthday. Yay, I made a wish. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wish for no more Jews, ironically enough. Ah! <laughs> You didn't realize that he, that he used to see uh, his last name is Wojcicki. Oh boy! Careful. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Ashkenazi. 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 Wow. Ashkenazi. I do identify as a millionaire socialist. That's how I identify. I see the good in Hitler. Oh my God. I mean, don't we all? Don't we all? Don't we... Kanye West. He sees the good in. in... He sees uh, the good in everyone. Yeah, I see. I see the good in fucking in the devil. Actually, I learned. I watched yeah. a real, really interesting doc- documentary about the devil. Apparently, like the reason why uh, the devil was was like banished and became the devil was because not because wanting to be the new god. He's like, I want to be god. Can I be god? <laughs> I want to be god. I want to be god. Can I be god? And God's just like. Can't. Nah, man. But actually, the real reason was because um, he was interfering with um humans by giving them knowledge, by giving oh them, boy, uh, yeah, like ideas and help them out with with civilization, and that's why uh God said, hey, you, you can't go back here. You, you, the humans got to figure it on their own. They're and but but Satan's like, but God, boss, they're. Hey, but boss, that's just stupid. We got to help them out here, you know. <laughs> and, and the God's just like, nah, motherfucker, you stay here. <laughs> Ooh, are we gonna make this a pro Satan podcast? Because should, I am so down. If so, we should make this a pro Satan podcast, I, dude. Okay, 
here's the thing, man. I'm as centrist as it gets. I don't give a fuck, you know, when it comes to, like, right and left beliefs. But I did see this one uh, schmuck on fucking Twitter where he was a, he's, t- he's saying we need to have Christian nationalism. And I'm like, oh, so you want to be like ISIS? Yeah. So you you, you want to be like the Taliban? Yeah. I mean, like, so you mean to tell me you want to use, like, force to force people to be Christians? I mean, look. I mean, like, I mean, look, don't get me wrong. Like, you know, like I, like, like I said, I'm as centrist as it gets. But don't fucking throw your religion on anybody. If they, if they, if they, if they want to be fucking Buddhist, let them be Buddhist. If, if they want to be Satanist, I don't give a yeah. fuck. Be a Satanist. Just as long as you don't fucking, you know, you, you can sacrifice some people, but not, you know, like, yeah, not, not mo- most people, but not some. Can you agree with me, Mike? You have to find a group. You have to find a group of people. And I then think, demonize them, and then you, and then you get enough demonize. following, and then they all publicly demonize them. I think if we can and put them in camps. I, th- yeah, I, I think if um Satanists can, uh, what you call it, sacrifice socialists. Yeah, that'd be great. We'd be fucking that's... fine there, but then again, most socialists are Satanists. The socialist Holocaust, yeah, yeah. that's, a, that's yeah. what I'm. <laughs> That's the movement we're starting today. The socialist Holocaust, yes. The socialist Holocaust. Fucking Mikey Hitler and and oh. S- Scotty Schindler. <laughs> Scotty Schindler. Scotty Schindler. <laughs> dude, we're gonna. Dude, this thing's gonna get fucking. But yeah, this this is fucking fucking taken down. But yeah, we're. Wait, <laughs> I'm trying to remember who was Hitler's guy who ran the concentration. Um, Himmler. Heinrich Himmler. Heinrich Himmler. Heinrich, Heinrich Himmler. Yeah. You know what's really funny? All of them look like such beta cucks. Like, Stalin yeah. looked very intimidating. He was uh, only like five foot two, though. Was <laughs> like, Stalin? Did... Stalin was. Yes, he was no extremely way. short. Uh, yes. Okay. Well, then he had to he I... had to stand on like soap boxes, like what <laughs> basically a soapbox <laughs> to, to be like behind a podium. He's and... like, Healthy yeah. Healthy, I need to see people. Okay, here's my mustache, everybody. Um, I don't know, like which, which, mustache. which dic- I mean, I think the only dictator, like evil, like dictator in history that looked probably the scariest was probably uh, Ivan the Terrible. He was scary looking. Yeah. You, you ever seen the space where he looks like this? Yeah. He's got <laughs> he's got the uh, the Viking death metal uh, facial expression. <laughs> uh... Oh yeah. I mean, King, King Henry the Eighth. He wasn't intimidating at all. He was cute. He looked like this. Pretty based, yeah. He was a. That's the one who uh, killed all his wives. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. um, he was the one. Who, he's the one who started um, uh, divorcing, actually, and uh, he was just like, oh well, I mean, I mean, I hate this bitch, but you know, by God, I can't get rid of her, you know, like that. So I might as well just just kill her, you know. Yeah. It's like fuck you, fuck you, women, fuck you, wives. You're getting divorced. We're getting divorced, but that means you're getting the axe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I, I came, I came up with a pretty good joke the other day. I'll, I'll say it. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Um, well, I talk about why we should, uh, instead of instead of giving uh, trans kids, um, I, even this is a way different topic than what we were talking about, but <laughs> um, instead of giving trans kids puberty blockers to for them to you know be trans, why don't we give puppies puberty blockers so we they can stay puppies forever? Yeah, exactly. That, that'll literally fucking like end wars. Like, imagine if Kim Jong Un and Xi Jinping from China had a little puppy. They'd be like, they'd either be like, "Oh, it's so cute," or they just eat it. You know, but they probably it's probably probably, probably gonna eat, eat it. Yeah. Um. But then uh, I said, and said, then I said, don't get me wrong. Like, don't think I'm 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 uh, you know uh, transphobic against trans people, especially trans women. I, it's not because I don't like them because they're trans. I just don't like them because they're women. You know, like when they were guys, you know, they were they were the homies. But now they're women. Do my, do my dishes. Shut the fuck. Shut yeah. the fuck up. Go make my sandwich. <laughs> they have a free pass to bitch. Exactly. But. Yeah. But then they show me the cocks, and I'm like, yeah, you're still kind of a homie, but go get, <laughs> get, get in the kitchen right now. Anyway, um, that's the only way you can really tell your homies is that they show you their cocks. Exactly. The, I mean, I haven't, the... I haven't shown you my cocks just yet because we we only do it over uh, Zoom. Oh yeah, webcam. That's a uh... webcam. Dude, I'm honestly very glad that we're not doing it over Zoom because Zoom sucks cock. We'd be shut down after forty minutes. I know. I hate that shit. Like literally, we, we like we're we're thirty we're thirty five minutes in and we fucking we're doing great. We're like we're doing just fine. And, yeah. And these fuckers are just like, oh, you, you, you. I mean, we we've done fucking like over hour long podcast before without them saying, oh, your time's up. Yeah. I, I don't I don't get it. So upgrade to pro. 
No. I, why, why would I upgrade the Pro? It's like $15 a month uh, for that. And then, like, and the only thing you get is like, you can stream. But I'm like, I can stream with this fucking program I just bought for, like, yeah. 60 bucks. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> Hard pass. Yeah. How's the how's the wife doing? Uh, good. So she's in New York, I saw. Yeah. What's she doing up there? <sighs> All comes back to drag queens. There's a drag queen that was in the Broadway musical Chicago, so she went with her best friend who I hate, and uh, they're there. Her best friend who I hate. Oh jeez. Oh, you, oh yeah. You told me about that. Yeah. You told me about that yeah. So things aren't still good with you guys with with you and you and your best friend. No, absolutely not. They never will be. So that's, uh, what's what's the what's the deal? I mean, like, like I don't. I, it, I mean, I don't want to get into it, but I mean, like, I'm just saying, like, you know, like, like my best friend and Miranda are really good friends, and and my and Miranda's best friend and me are like cool. Like, like why can't this girl be cordial with you? Oh, trust me, I would love for that to be a thing, but she's fake. Number one. She's a liar. <laughs> She's very much a liar. I hope she doesn't watch this podcast. But... <laughs> uh, if you do, fuck you, Ashley. <laughs> so, like, what's the wedding going to be like whenever, you know, obviously she's definitely going to be, like, the maid of honor. And, and then what if, like, you know, during the whole speech when the priest is like, speak now or forever hold your peace. What if she does the whole Shrek thing? I object! Um... It would turn from a wedding into a live beheading. <laughs> That's a good one. Be a live beheading. Wedding to live beheading. Can I commentate it? I'll be like, I'll be like, yeah. this, I'm like this lady over here. She's about to get her head chopped off. But the thing uh, is, look where, at that blood splatter. Where look is at that blood splatter, ladies and gentlemen? Where is her neck at? I don't even now, know. Just, I don't now know, he's kicking her neck. decapitated head all over the floor. Did, the groom just stuck his cock in the in the fucking lady's head. Oh no! His her his, neck used to be there. His, her cock's coming out. His cock's her cock. His cock's coming out of her <laughs> eyeball. It's like woo, woo, woo. <laughs> fucking dagger the impaler. Yes. Uh, oh boy! In a different time. In a different time. <laughs> so uh... if, if you were an, if you were an emperor. Like Vlad the Impaler, would you have been like an Impaler? Like, would, would, yeah. if like if you're kind of, if you're like a dictator, would you be like an evil dictator? Or would you be like a cool dictator? A little bit of both. I feel like to truly be effective, you kind of have to have elements of both. I would have been a cool dictator to like the poor, but I think I would have been like a really bad dictator to like the people that were like just underneath me, like the noblemen. And like, yeah, because I'd be like, you mother, I'm paying you motherfuckers like fifth, like five cents a fucking month. And you guys are telling me that you guys think you can overthrow me. Get the fuck out of here. Get those serfs over there. Tell them fucking mutton on me. Some mutton on me. Meat, meat on me. <laughs> get the, fucking get get a knight. I would. uh, I don't know, man. You know, being like what? What did it take to become a knight back in the day? You had to be pretty much raised into it. Yeah. Is like, it, it's kind of like a Spartan. Or you're from, like, a noble family already, and you become a knight. So, how do you know if your family's noble? Like, what if, like, like you know, like, say, like, what if I found out, or you found out that, like, someone in our lineage was a nobleman? So, does that makes us knights? No. Basically, because back in, back in that time, the goal was to have as many, many kids as possible, because, you know, they could do, like, they can work on stuff. Your there, there's, there's a good chance that they'll die. Oh, yeah. There's a good chance that they'll die, so have as many as you can. Well, you gotta remember, like, I think 30 was, like, equivalent to, like, 60 back in, like, yeah. back in, like 1304. Because, you yeah. know, either women die at a childbirth because, you know, no, no, no medicine and your vagina is, like, just fucking... Can you imagine how stinky sex was, like, a thousand years ago? Yeah, it's probably disgusting. Yeah, like, do you think maybe that's why, like, a lot of, like, men that call women, like, just disgusting back in the days because of their unwashed, like, pussies and stuff? Yeah. Well, they, I know Vikings bathed pretty much every day. Vikings bathed? I didn't, I didn't yeah. did not expect that. I thought Vikings were fucking filthy, too. Yeah, the Saxons, actually, only the wealthy Saxons mm. 
uh, the English basically I know, what I, English I know, they I know Egyptians, they, like, Egyptians were very good on bathing and uh, and shaving. I mean, like, yeah, you're the saying, Romans, Romans the too. Um, the Chinese were no, absolutely not. The Chinese were, were oh no, they, they, they're pretty, they're pretty filthy, probably. I'm just kidding. They were too busy eating dogs, yeah, <laughs> that's very true, and ma- ma- making fireworks and getting, Chinese fireworks, making, making fucking walls and stuff, and getting taken over by Mongols. <laughs> Dude, Mongolians are awesome. They're, yeah, they're fucking cool. Like, I think, dude, I think the coolest thing about Genghis Khan is that he literally fucked like, like maybe an eighth of the population of women yeah. in Asia. Like, I told Miranda, I said, you might want to take a DNA test because you might, you won't, I won't be surprised if you come back maybe like five percent Mongolian because you could be a descendant of Genghis Khan. And she's just like, really? I'm like, yeah. They say like fucking I think eight percent of Chinese people are, are descendants of Genghis Khan. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucking rad. You know? Eight hundred thousand people and or they, eight. And then and then they say fucking. Eight, no, eight million. They, then they say every everyone on Earth is a descendant of fucking Adam and Eve. Oh yes. But really, it's actually Adam and Steve. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh Steve had the ovaries. Steve did have the ovaries. So I have a I'm I I I um I made this one up uh, this joke. But I don't know if it's been taken or not. I said, "There's no, there's no possible way Adam would ever be black because there's no way anyone would take his ribs from him. <laughs> they would like, die." He's like, "Don't you be taking my ribs, bitch! Fuck you! Don't be taking my ribs! Fuck this bitch! I you, need my ribs." Tell you what, man, I had some ribs not too long ago. They were good. They were really good. It was at a food truck. The last ribs I had were Applebee's ribs, actually, yeah. a few weeks ago. I get sick every time I eat a- Applebee's. I don't know why, why I go why back. Do you, why do you eat Applebee's? It's good. It's good appetizer food. You know? Applebee's? Yeah, it's good sometimes. Yeah. It's not like TGI Friday's level, but... Uh... Fucking TGI Friday's is disgusting. Honestly, dude, I'm getting so tired of chain restaurants. I like... Uh, no, I feel you. The only chain restaurant I'll go to is like Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. Or get a Wendy's Baconator. <laughs> A Wendy's Baconator classic. That, that was the uh, that was the running meme of our fucking of the, of the, the triple original, Baconator. Of yeah. the triple Baconator, yeah, that was the original fucking meme right there. And then uh, yeah, yeah, because you you talked about how triple Baconators were basically your life before you found veganism. Are you still a vegan? Yeah. Um. I. Uh, not here and there. Yeah, for the most part, I still eat meat sometimes. Like. If, I'm going somewhere and someone's cooking something that has meat in it. Like, I'm not going to, you know, oh, wait, no, I can't eat this. So I have to. So, like, say if you and I were, were hanging out and I'm like, Mike, let's go get some wings. Would you be like, let's go, yeah. let's, let's go get some wings right now? I just had wings the other night in Ocala. Where'd you go to Mojo's? No, they're from uh, Wing Station. Wing Station. Which, it, it's, on, uh, it's on Pine. I haven't, I, I've, oh, I, I've the funniest Pine. thing. Is it good? Yeah, it's the funniest thing. It's a wing spot run by Chinese people. Everyone who works there is Chinese. I'll tell you what, man. Chinese people can make some good fucking wings. Have you ever had, like, honey wings from, like, a Chinese restaurant? Yeah. They're, yeah. Ball- they're baller. They're fucking great, man. I think Patrice O'Neill explained this. It was, like, in World War II because China was technically an ally of ours, even though they were doing their own thing against Japan. Mm-hmm. But it was MSG that was in the rations. MSG is what, like, if you try to make Chinese food at your home right now, oh, it, shit. it will not even compare. It's all the MSG. Well, China, shit, the Chinese food in China isn't Chinese food in America. Yeah. Like, I remember I had a buddy of mine tell me he went to, he went to fucking Beijing not too long ago. And he, uh, actually, not long, before COVID. And he went to go get Chinese food, and he's like, "Dude, the Ch- American Chinese food is better." I'm like, "Yeah, it's it's full of fucking MSGs and shit. Like that's why it's better." Yeah. Like, like, cause like Chinese food out there is like, it's baby, it's baby shit. Yeah, it's baby shit and bats and and the uh, and fucking pangolins and COVID and stuff and dog, and cat, dog, cat, rat. I do. You 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 know what the four of us, uh, you, you me and our gals need to do whenever we get together? Hibachi. You like hibachi? Yeah, I do. Let's, yeah, let's get, let's get some hibachi one night. They have a place here called Daruma. 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 Yeah, it's... we got Kobe uh, here, and uh, yeah, yeah, and, and, and Palm and Palm Harbor. I mean, one time we we took a we took a helicopter to Kobe and we crashed. Oh boy. 
<laughs> Whoa, you're going to get banned on Twitter. I don't know. I just wanted. To, I well, I I tried getting my old account, but I couldn't, so I just made a new one. Bought Twitter blue because I wanted to be uh, validated. I just wanted that. I, wanted blue, I just wanted that blue check mark, Mike. That's all. I'm just. I <laughs> know uh, it, it it is it does have some perks. I do get more people viewing my sh- uh, like looking at my shit, but that, that's also kind of yeah. fun as well too because I'll get people like tell me to, to fucking go literally go kill myself, and I'm like, yeah, who's that? I'm like, dude, I've been told to go kill myself since I was like six, so it's okay. Yeah. There's Go kill yourself, Scott! Oh, man. Uh, <clears throat> Ocala. Good old Ocala. Ocala. Were you, uh, were you there just, uh, did I ask why you were there? Were you there just uh, seeing family? And shit? Yeah, I was just there visiting my family. Nice. Every, everyone seemed good? Yeah. That's good. Um, when's your, when's your, when are y'all planning your wedding? You and, you and Katie, because I, I know you guys have been kind of planning pretty, pretty soon, right? February of next year, 2024. February 3rd, 2024. Oh, that's my that's my sister's birthday, actually, February 3rd. Oh, boy. So I'll be more than happy to miss my sister's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Sign me up. If, if, as long as you pay me to do some stand-up, I'll do it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't have to do that. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to make things. Open up. mic night at the wedding. Open mic night at the wedding. <laughs> have, have you... um? Have you hit up Snappers down in um in Sarasota yet or Fort Myers? No. Because yeah, I know they got a Snappers down there, but I don't know if they have an open mic. Because uh, I know open mic the open mic here is on Tuesdays, and uh, yeah, because I know um yeah, I really wanna really wanna try to get you involved, man. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I mean, it's, I mean, th- there's comedy down in Sarasota. Like, there's plenty of places. Um, I'm sure there's like a fucking Sarasota comedy page on Facebook. If you uh. Probably. If you uh, get involved, Cause, yeah, there's a lot of places that that that, ho- that host like open mics down in Sarasota and Fort Myers. How, how far is Fort Myers? Like an hour? As uh, yeah, probably like an hour. Hour. Is it, is, it, is it still pretty fucked up down there after her after the hurricane? I haven't seen it. Really? Oh, it's probably uh, it, it's, it. it's probably disappeared. Hurricane Ian probably blew it away. Well, I know that one city was that one island city was like entirely was entirely underwater after the hurricane. Good. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I forget. I forget what it is. I forget what the name of it. But yeah, it was. Uh... That's why you don't live on an island. No, I um just live near an island so you can fucking go over. You know, just uh... yeah, yeah. That that's why I I like my area because you know even though we're on the coast technically, but we're 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 inland to the point we're also higher elevation, and being high yeah. high elevation in Florida that just does not exist. But still, it's uh, it's actually yeah. I mean, we were like we were surprisingly fine. Like, did did you guys lose power during the hurricane at all, or no? No. That's fucking rad. Nope. That is fucking rad. Yeah. And it was supposed to touch land right in Sarasota initially, but then it went the the Tampa path. Or no, it went south. It, it went, went south. To- yeah, it was, it was originally going to hit us, and then it was like Fort Myers and Venice. Yeah, I had like, dude, like, oh my god, like I had so many people fucking like be like, gotta get out of there, you gotta get out of there, and even my, even my cousin, who's like, you know, he's yeah, he, he's a, he's an optimistic guy, cool as fuck. He was just like, I don't know, man, you might want to might want to get out of there, and I said, Oops. no, 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 I do not fear God, and we're. we're no, we we're fine. And what well, I mean, poor, poor Miranda's family though, because they're all of California. They don't know what hurricanes are like. And I, I told them. I remember I, I talked to them on the phone like after. I said, "Dude, here's the thing: hurricanes. We party. You know, if we know if we know we're gonna be okay, and we know we're gonna be off work, we we party. I mean, that's just, that's just how it is." Yeah, I personally, I uh, this was my first coastal hurricane. This most recent one. And um, it felt like every other hurricane I've experienced in Ocala. Exactly. So oh, exactly. I mean, I have a, uh, I I experienced like Hurricane Floyd because I lived down in like I think South Florida or East Coast Florida like at that time. What was ninety eight? Was it a big fentanyl hurricane? <laughs> yeah. Hurricane Floyd. Hurricane, <laughs> hurricane fentanyl. <laughs> Do you give uh, your your your? Was there counterfeit money everywhere? Yes. Was there? <laughs> cartel money. Uh, do you um do you have have you ever given your uh, patients fentanyl? No. But you want to? No. Oh God. 
they're they're addicts enough. They're addicts enough. They don't need fentanyl. <laughs> That's fucking great. You you work you work tonight or no? Uh, tomorrow. What time? Six a.m. Oh, not bad. So I have to be up at five, and then I work until two, and I get off, and then I work Monday through Thursday, and then I work the weekend. I have Friday off. Yeah. Yeah. That, that that's the problem with like that with like you know nurse nursing as well too. Like I feel like they don't give you a set schedule unless if you're like a doctor. No. No. Well, then again, not like not necessarily like a doctor. I, I mean, I'm more like a primary primary care physician. You know, because most of them are pretty much Monday through Friday. Yeah, because Katie's dad is on call. Uh, he's a doctor. Some weekends, yeah, he's a surgeon. Oh, big big buckos. Yeah. He's just like Mike. I know how to remove. The penis that's inside, that's lodged inside your ass. So, oh, if you, oh if boy! You, if you could trust me, just put Russ's hand all down your back. <laughs> you, you trust me. So, oh yeah, I was actually in talks with this dude who my my siblings are good friends with because they work with him. <clears throat> he had a buddy who's like a a promoter in Ocala, and when you're a promoter in Ocala, you know you you can't be touched. Like you're fucking. Like you're the like like you're, you're the dog. You, you're the dog, man. Like you like you're fucking, yeah. Like everyone wants to fucking be with you. Everyone, you, everyone's expecting you to fucking throw on the best shit, whatever the fuck. So he wanted to do a comedy show, and uh, everyone was saying like, "Oh my god, get get uh get get um get his brother, get, get his brother. Yeah, he's so fucking funny. He's a comedian down in Tampa." And so I was there like during Christmas time, and I and I gave their friend my my business card i have business cards mike and uh <laughs> yeah i'm fucking legit <laughs> so then i just necessary and i said like yeah just um you know if you get this to your friend just tell them to fucking hit me up on instagram or fucking give me a call my, my, my number's on there or, or email me i don't give a shit so i didn't hear anything back and then i remember i was there just the other week and then i asked them what's going on and about the, about the show and they said oh they already did it already and i'm like oh they did He's like, yeah. They, he's like, yeah. They had a they had a comedian that's in Ocala, and I'm like, how was the show? And they're like, oh, it was terrible. I'm like, that's why. <laughs> it was awful. Because you had a comedian from Ocala. Because I told, because I I was telling my the, the dude, I was like, dude, if I can get like you know some comedians down in my area, can we do that? He's just like, yeah, I think we can. I'm like, you you're going to want to because I don't want to do like an hour, just of material that i don't have you know so yeah i mean i have like i have like so many notes of just material that i've written but i you know i haven't worked with them or anything so. you gotta lab it yeah you gotta you gotta lab it on like open mics and yeah, stuff like e that exactly you I mean, that's funny what, before I mean, you use it that's what i've been doing for the last fucking year and a half is i've been doing stand-up yeah just fucking just, yeah. just testing out my joke i was i'll tell you what i was looking back at a lot of my jokes i wrote like years ago like before i even tried out doing stand-up and i'm like damn my writing sounds so much better <laughs> it's <laughs> it's pretty pretty funny i and uh, i finding old notes and stuff like that from like 10 years ago and it's like wow this is this, this i don't why did i even bother this is the sucks yeah, this dude. fucking yes yeah, so one of the jokes i wrote Years ago, I saw one where I, what did I say? I was, hold on, I, I got, my, my notes are in my phone. My phone is the camera, so let me, let me think for just one second. It was, it was pretty, pretty fucking terrible. Oh, yeah, I said, I saw a dude on a date with a, what looked like a 13-year-old girl, and I'm like, what are you doing? She's a kid, and he said, oh, she was, tr she was trying it as an adult, so we're good to go. <laughs> And I'm like, dude, I would never say that on stage because, like, hey, I'll probably get a fucking shoe thrown at me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I then I said, and then I wrote another one where I said this guy was on a date with a five year old girl, and I'm like, what? I'm like, did I really fucking write that? And I <laughs> and, it's, and I said, um, all right, the guy's me. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Mike, why are you on a date with a five year old? And Mike said, oh, she has an old soul. <laughs> Oh boy! That, that, that's the punchline. She has an old soul, so it's like, oh my god. Oh man! What do you... Sure, where it counts. What was the old shit that people used to say? Oh, the grass on the field, play ball. <laughs> <laughs> I I remember a long time ago, like when I was like maybe graduating high school. I remember this one dude said, "If she's if her age is on the clock, she's too young for the cock." 
And I remember like someone that I knew somewhere was actually who was like 17, dating like a 13 year old or something like that. And I'm like, that's still kind of weird though. Like even though like he's still technically a minor at the time, 17, 13. Ah, that's that's a little weird right there. I dated a 14 year old when I was thir- when I was 17. Really? Yeah. But we didn't I, we didn't do anything sexual. That's good. I was about to say like Michael. <laughs> You just admit I mean, you're still you're still young. You're still my young. hope was planting the seeds to eventually do something sexual, but I had no game. You, you, I was you, I had zero game. So. You're, you're, you're waiting for her to hit her to, to finally have her period. Yeah. You're like, come on. You're like, hey, you're hey, you bleeding yet? Wah <laughs> <laughs> wah. Imagine, imagine, like if you did that now at the age you are now, looking like Ron Jeremy. You were just like, hey, oh, girl, God. you bleeding yet? <laughs> Clean yet, bitch. Dude, you should be Ron Jeremy for Halloween one year, bro. Oh, that's... with a small cock? Yeah, no, can't pull that off. <laughs> Ron Jeremy with this? I don't believe you. With a small cock? No, you you got the hair, and all you gotta do is just shave off your beard and just keep the mustache. And oh boy, and wear a speedo with your fucking with your with your fucking barrel big fucking hairy chest. Boom, <laughs> Ron Jeremy. That'd be a great Halloween. Co- I mean, it'd be better. I mean, I don't I don't think anyone be, I don't think anything would top up the pedophile. Uh, Halloween costume you did like, like twelve that was, years ago. That was just me with a mustache. That's all it was. It was just me with a mustache. <laughs> You're like, I was re- I was going with uh, a true pedophile costume. I would have at least got um, what uh, John LaJoey called the rapist glasses, <laughs> the Jeffrey Dahmer sh- the Jeffrey Dahmer uh, regular bifocals like these. But uh, yeah, yeah, but shades <laughs> yeah, or not shades, the just regular prescription glasses, like like the ones. Like the one glasses I use for my my special bit that I that every time I fucking do is just an absolute fucking howler. It's a good bit. I've uh, I added a lot to that joke as well, and I I, I won't say it because I mean I I've already put it on YouTube. So I mean if people want to like watch the joke, it's on my fucking shorts. But they can do some work and go uh, go look it up. Yeah, exactly. If you want to be if you want to be uh, intimidated by by me. I'll, I'll be more than happy to put a fucking powder <laughs> substance in your woman coach at a night club. Oh, so a bunch of gay black guys. <laughs> well, that's just we, me we, stuff. We, we should be pedophiles for Halloween one year together. Oh boy, Dude, that'd be great, right there. Just like, Ooh, in liberal should, South Florida. We should, yes, we should get the like the really bright white Nike shoes. Like, oh yeah, like, like the like the nineteen nineties like tight jeans that like dads wore. Yeah, and then like a really awful polo. Really like, awful polo. Really classes. Like my hair is perfect because I'm like salt and pepper already, so I already I'm already kind of look like a pedophile already. <laughs> <laughs> but I I don't participate in 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 that action in that in that uh shit <laughs> if you know what I mean, but. Uh, did you ever watch Whitest Kid You Know? Did you ever watch that the uh, sketch comedy show? I've heard of it. Whitest Kid You Know. Yeah, it sounds sounds kind of familiar. Yeah, they had something where it was like irresponsible television, and it was it was they were like fake commercials for TV shows. But it's uh, one of them was like one day Timmy Matherson met a friend at the park, met, met met a stranger at the park. It was like, hey kid, you want to go for a ride? There's candy in it for you. <laughs> And then they played the theme song. It was like, my secret friend. <laughs> so, my secret friend. That's fucking brilliant. I love that. <laughs> oh, man. Then it was like kids with a babysitter. It was like two like young kids with a babysitter. She's like, God, she's so hot. I totally want to make out with her. She would never go for us. She's uh, she's way older than us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but what if we force her? And then they pulled out duct tape. <laughs> Comedy will never like that would never happen again. Just no, just saying. That guy, the main guy from that, Trevor Moore, actually died in a car accident a year ago. Ooh. I don't know. They made two of the guys from that made the movie Miss March. Oh shit! Yeah. Interesting. Milk money. You remember that movie Milk Money, where those guys like pay like a stripper to see her tits? No. You never seen that? Yeah, it's porno. Like, it's, it sounds like a porno. Yeah, it basically is. Yeah, it's like these kids, you know, they want oh, to... milf money. I was thinking. Mil- <laughs> it, not milf money, milk money. Yeah, they um, 
cookies. Yeah, they they say milk and cookies. Milf and cookies. Milf and cookies. There you go. Yeah, like these kids, like they um, they they pick up like paper routes and other like shit just to like ask the woman to take the, to fucking see that they are naked, pretty much. And, hey. Uh, that's Take it all, where you can get that, it. That's all I remember. I haven't seen the movie in like 20 years, but like I remember that. I remember being a kid watching that shit. Yeah. Because, you know, when you're a kid, you've always wanted to see a naked lady. And and now it's like, okay, you see one every day now. And you're just like, ah. Eh. I, and I'm still very, fa- I'm still very obviously turned on by looking at my naked lady girlfriend that's watching something in the room right there. But it's also just like, oh. Because I remember when I was a kid, I was like, oh, I'm never going to see a naked lady. Only on the camera, <laughs> only on the website. Eh, eh. But now I'm just like, oh, I'm living it right there, you know, so it's great. I see it every day. Exactly. There you go. I want to see you naked right now, Mike. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, you're making me blush. Oh. Speaking of naked, I got to take a shower. I fucking smell. This is really bad. Yeah, I probably should. I usually, I know, I do every day after work because I have old person piss and shit on me, and like fu- so. and a bunch of fucking like germs and stuff, wet and do, things like that. Do you, do you wear scrubs? Yeah. Nice. You're just like I'm, Mike. I'm a I'm a nurse. Going to be your day. Do, do, Doogie Hauser, fucking nurse man. <laughs> let me <laughs> let me insert that catheter inside your dick hole right now. Oh God. Let me let me change your colostomy bag. Oh, think I have to empty catheters. Thank God I don't uh, insert, them. insert them. I mean, when you when you look at like an old man dick, do you get like grossed out too? Or are you just kind of like, oh, this, I, I see. I'm so immune to it at this point. <laughs> it's you're immune to dicks. Like, oh, great, another shriveled up old dick. Well, do you see, right. do, oh, do, so do you see old. Great. Do you see old dicks or old pussies more? Old pussies. Really. Old pussies for sure. Nice. What's they that? Got, what's that like? They got lots of pubes, my friend. Really? At, at that age? Pubes. Still? Yep. But then again, I mean, it was a time where like shaving was kind of like not really thought of during that during that era. I mean, they're old. I mean, yeah. Old, lots of pubes. Really, I didn't think like old ladies still had like old, how old are these ladies? At least sixties up. Man, I'm getting fucking so. turned on by now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Fucking. Are they? Are, are they? Is it gray? Is it gray pubes? Some of them are. Some of them have like regular color. I don't know if they dye their pubes. If they dyed their pubes, <laughs> they, d- they dye their pubes and they're like, "Oh, I gotta, I gotta dye my pubes for for the nurse man, for <laughs> for Mister Ron Jeremy, my nurse." Yeah. Uh, some of them surprisingly have the same color of their their natural hair. That's really fucking funny. I I never yeah. I never I, I I don't know. I mean, like I would think of these old old ass ladies fucking had uh fucking I don't know like just shriveled up fucking like turkey gobbler neck pussies and stuff. Yeah, I'm just I'm there to clean them. I'm not not there to enjoy myself looking at these. <laughs> <laughs> have they have they ever like given you like a really weird like like it's like you like it down there, Sonny? Are they kind of no. just, are they kind of just like just get on with it, just hurry up, God damn it, my vagina, it's fucking it, it's it's hairy. It's fucking the grossest hairy. thing some dude said while I was changing him, some old dude who actually has a catheter, he's like, I had to change him because he was like, oh, did you check back there? Sometimes he's talking about it, referencing his shit. He was like, sometimes it likes to hide in there, and you got to pull it out. <laughs> it's just like, is he fat? Like really fat? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, oh, there's some dude. He looks like at Artie laying at his heaviest. He's like a hundred pounds over that. Wow, that's huge. Artie was a Artie was a fat fucker too, man. He gotta be pushing five hundred pounds if he's not already there. But like, he doesn't even get out of bed. Wow. Dude, oh my! Oh, before we get out of here, I got something funny to tell you. So, uh, one time, yeah, actually not too long ago, me and Miranda and I were showering together, and sometimes she'll shave my back because it gets a little hairy. And yeah. Yeah, I got no problem with that, but I felt so, so fucking, um, what's that one called? Uh, insecure. Immaculate. I- insecure oh. when she lifted up a fat roll on my back to get the hair Oh, out. boy. I'm like, oh, <laughs> no. Because it, it, I felt something. I'm like, what, no. I'm like what are you doing? She's like, oh, I'm just lifting up a fat roll. I'm like, you're lifting up a fat roll to get hair out? And I'm like, oh, god damn it. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I'm, I'm like, I feel like I'm on my 600 pound life, you know, where like the, oh boy. the wives had to clean out like the fungus underneath the guy's <laughs> fucking like cock, cock, cock jiggle, you know. A lot of the old dudes that are uncircumcised, by the way, it, really, it, the backtrack. A lot of the old dudes that are uncircumcised definitely have smegma. So this is why circumcise your kids, ladies and gentlemen. Please circumcise your kids. Don't like. Why do you Why do you want to hate your children? Like I, I know a lot of like people that like they say my sex life has been awful since I've been circumcised. I'm like, bitch, you don't even remember your circumcision. Like, what are you talking it's about? 20, hey, you're 20 years old when you got like, circ- 20 years old when you got circumcised. Yeah, that's that's like, what I was saying. I'm like, bro, you're like fucking like like 30. Like you're saying you're saying that your sex life has been terrible since you've been circumcised. I'm like, when did you get circumcised? When you're like fucking 24? Like seriously? I mean, like. <laughs> uh been just awful all the sex i was getting at two weeks old <laughs> the old vagina you felt against your cock was your mom's at, at fucking and at, at like at like two, <laughs> at, 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 at two minutes old when you're fucking <laughs> out of there bro um i don't know it's fucking stupid i mean dude i don't even know what circumcision was i thought all dicks looked like that until i found out that we were yeah. actually born with a foreskin and I'm like, thank God. Like, my dick would have looked like a baby yeah. bottle pop if it was fucking uncircumcised. <laughs> it looks like a fucking, like an animal's dick. It's, uh, well, they'll, they're like, oh, we are animals. I'm like, yeah, we are animals, but I'm not an animal. I'm fucking yeah. me, man. I want my penis to be circumcised. I want my fucking son to be circumcised. He, I want to circumcise him before he's fucking born. I'm going to reach in, yeah. I'm going to reach in my, in a Miranda's fucking vulva and clitoris. <laughs> Off, yeah. Yeah. Anywhere where the baby. Give him a brisk. Fucking pull him out really quick where his legs are just dangling and he's just going like this. Like, snip, snap, snippity bap. There goes his little fucking dick, just like mine. Put him back in the vagina. Shove him in there. Shove him back in there. Shove him back in there. Yeah, man. Ah, well, goddamn it! I think we should probably end this shit right now. Yeah, this has been this has been fun. I miss doing podcasts with you. Hopefully next time, you know, when, when Boschetti gets back to me, we can get him on so that way we can we can fuck with him as well. Oh, yes, by all means. Yeah, and, and plus, you you definitely know more, like, stern lore than I do, so you can definitely initiate more of the conversations, and I can just come on in and be like, yeah, that. Fuck you, Howard, you know. Fuck you, Beetlejuice. I want to know some Beetlejuice stories. Oh, yes. Oh, I, I would do anything for some Beetlejuice stories. Fuck yeah. <laughs> anyway. Always good to talk with you, brother. You have a wonderful work work week, and uh, yeah, man, fucking, let's do this again. Hopefully, maybe next. Oh, I'm going. Oh, are you going to Gasparilla next week? Oh, you where's? It's in Tampa. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, I know you said I, you work. I but, work. Uh, is it twenty eighth Saturday? This, yeah, I work. That's fucking lame. Saturday and Sunday, I work. But I get Friday and Monday off, which is always well, good. Well, at least you're not a socialist. That least at least I'm not. A, I can say that at the end of every day. Yes, exactly. You know, everyone who gets done with their shift, I'm like, well, at least I'm not a fucking socialist. I mean, yeah, I work today. I'm automatically not a socialist. <laughs> you did work today, right? Yeah. No. I was going to say. Back I, from our, uh, no, I'm saying that when I get off. <laughs> my, uh, well, hey, this I is, work. I'm not a socialist. Hey, this, this is work. I mean, this is technically like work. We're, we're putting in fucking like. Comedic Put in the hours, yeah. comedic hours, comedic prowess to fucking you know get get up to fucking pick up our phones, get behind the camera, and just talk about fucking apparently socialism and Nazism today. So and circumcision, <laughs> circumcision. And, uh... and, and, hey, all right, man, you fucking take care. Have a good week, and we'll um, definitely, we'll definitely get we'll definitely get a, uh, another recording going on very soon. All right. Yeah. You as well, bruv. Yes, sir. Later, brother. All right, later. Bye.